In this week's episode, we're gonna be starting out our new build on the channel. The UNS 5S finally gets its debut. Let's get into it. What's going on, reefers? Welcome back to another episode. My name's Blaine, and this is the King Tide Corals channel. First off, I wanna say thank you to every single one of you that reached out on my last video. It wasn't a super easy video to make and it wasn't something I like talking about, but I wanna share with you guys the ups and the downs. This hobby isn't always about the good things. There's not always roses and rainbows. Sometimes you're gonna deal with thorns along the way. So I wanted to share my story and my experience with you guys. Sadly, we're going through a lot of different issues with UPS, them not wanting to pay, all these different crazy things, even though they sent two boxes to Canada. Hey, I'm, I'm not the guy sending the boxes, but I just wanna say thank you to you guys for reaching out and sending all your thoughts to me. It was really helpful and it's definitely helped me kind of push forward. I also wanna say thank you for giving me the chance to take a week off and just kind of recollect my thoughts. In this week's video though, we're gonna change the pace and do something a lot more fun. This week we're gonna be starting off the Pico tank build and that tank is the UNS 5S. It's a really shallow and small tank. It's around 2.5 gallons in total volume. So it's gonna be different, a really small system and a fun new style. I'm excited to get into it with you guys. We have all the equipment we need. So let's go ahead and cut to the chase and get to getting this tank going. Now let's get into what's going on with the tank. We've got all the equipment we need to get this thing up and going. And I wanna start the cycle on this. I'm pretty excited to get it going and I have a lot of different ideas for it, but I'd like to get the cycle going, get the scape all set, and then we can start working from there for livestock. As for the tank, we have the UNS 5S. That's a total tongue twister and I can barely say it half the time, so bear with me. We have some real reef rock. Gonna be some good stuff to add. We'll probably break it up. We have some Carib Sea Ocean Direct, some Caribbean sand kind of thinking of doing a shore bank kind of style. I've been seeing a lot of these on Instagram and I think they're really nice. I just think it would work well with this shallow tank. And then as for a filter, I got this Power Filter Pure 7 um, by Phoenix. It's a really tiny, small filter. These are the same filters that Tiger Boy Dennis, uh, he uses on all of his macroalgae systems and they're really great and it actually fits this dimension perfectly. I had chatted with him, so big shout out to him. If you guys aren't following it on Instagram, you guys are probably living under a rock. His stuff is really amazing and you guys should definitely check it out. But he helped me out with a bunch with setting up the proper filtration for this tank. And I think it's gonna be really fun to start working on getting this tank all set. So let's go ahead and start working into things. Let's go ahead and take this rock outside, break it up a little bit, get some rubble going. We'll add the sand and then we got some water pre-made, ready to go. We'll get things all set. Let's go ahead and check it out. As for the rock that's gonna be added to the tank, I'm gonna be utilizing this real reef rock that I got from my local fish store. It's gonna be a good couple pieces to use, but I do know that this piece is way too big. So we're gonna go ahead and take this one outside and start busting it up. We'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so we have all the things we need. We're gonna be breaking up this piece of rock. We're gonna use the hammer and the chisel. We got Comet here helping us out today, and then we'll go ahead and start busting this up. We have all of our pieces of rubble there, our extra rock here to the side and then the tank with the filter and everything else. So we'll go ahead and start setting up the sand. I'm gonna get the light on the tank and then that way we can start seeing this tank starting to come to fruition. Now that I've added the sand, I'm just utilizing this aquascaping tool here to kind of move around the substrate. I'm going for more of a shoreline look. So 
we're gonna have more of a deeper part here and then it's gonna progressively get higher. I've been seeing a lot of these tanks that are starting to pop up that look really cool and I wanted to try and do one myself and I think it's gonna be a great place for us to plant a couple mangroves too. So gonna be really great. I'm gonna work on getting this sand all situated and then we'll start placing some rock. Oh, real quick, I know I'm cutting off myself in the video, but I just wanted to share with you guys my new stickers that just came in. These are gonna be some really cool stickers. They're really limited, and I only got about 50 of them made. So you guys are gonna have to check it out on Instagram. I'll be doing a sticker giveaway soon, so stay tuned to that. So be sure to follow me on Instagram, King Tide Corals. Come on, you know you want a sticker. Look how cool that is. Back to the video. Now that the sand's been added to the system, let's go ahead and start working on our aquascape. I'm gonna obviously be doing a minimal aquascape, not a tons of rock, but we're gonna go ahead and start working around some of the pieces and see how they fit in. Let's check it out. This tank is gonna be really interesting because it's gonna bring a whole new perspective on how I'm seeing a tank. Most tanks are just looking through the glass from the front or from the sides, not normally looking from top down. That's why I really like lagoon tanks. They create a new way to see the tank and a way to look at it. As for this UNS 5S, it's extremely shallow and it's gonna be sitting on my desk so I'm already gonna be seeing an above view. So it's gonna be really cool to be see top down views all the time. That's why I'm trying to think of a really great and different unique style to try and make it more appealing to myself and for you guys. So it's gonna be really cool to try out this more top-down view style tank. I'm actually really happy with this scape. Um, like I said, very simple, um, only a couple pieces of rock. Um, I used one of the bigger pieces that we did not break up here in the back. And then I'm just using a couple rubble pieces here to work up to the shoreline. And then I think I'm gonna have the shoreline kind of be empty and this is where we're gonna try and plant a couple mangrove seeds or babies. Um, they're not really big, you guys can see them right here, hanging out in this vase. There's a couple that I'm really looking forward to adding in to this tank because the light will be able to help them out and then also I get quite the ample amount of sunlight through this window. So I think this is kind of what we're looking at and I think it's about time to maybe start setting up the filter and getting ready to add some water. The filter that we grabbed for this tank, I talked about before, it's the Power Filter Pure 7 by Phoenix. Um, this is the smallest filter that I basically could get for this setup, and I think it's gonna work out perfectly. I got this recommendation from tigaboy.h2o off Instagram. That's the same uh, filter that he's running on a couple of his systems, and we have mirroring dimensions when it comes to the height of these tanks. So let's go ahead and pop this open and start working on getting it ready to go. Filter is really simple. Um, it's just a basic filter with some uh, filter media in the back and then also a little bit of a carbon filter it seems to be. Um, we'll go ahead and keep that in here for now. I'll most likely end up putting just filter floss in here and maybe a couple small pieces of media that we can get in there to help create some more beneficial bacteria. But Really simple setup it seems to be, and there is also this tank water level mark that you guys can see on the side. I'm also gonna be adding this second section to the pump, and then I'm gonna leave this uh, cushion here, or the foam on this uh, outside so that we don't have any issues with any animals that we may add into this tank. But seems to be a perfect little fit for the system and we'll go ahead and try it out. Now that the scape setup is all done and the sand is in the tank, I think it's time that we get this tank wet and start getting that filter running. So let's go ahead and start tossing some water into the system.
And like that, the filter is running. Um, I was a little nervous at first with how high the water is on the filter. Um, could definitely become an issue if there's like a power outage or something of that sort. I'm gonna look more into it here in a little. But as for right now, the tank is running. We got it cycling. And I'll go ahead and pop the light on so you guys can see. And then I'm gonna start adding some mangrove babies to this bad boy. One thing I am really excited to add to this system too is something that you guys have seen before, mangroves. I was really happy and glad to be able to grab some more mangroves from Gentle Balance on eBay. She's an amazing woman and she's helped me out with all the mangroves that I've received on this channel. You guys should definitely reach out to her on eBay. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. But it's gonna be really cool to add in some smaller mangroves. I have a couple really tiny ones that'll actually fit underneath the light at the time right now, so it's gonna still work out for them and they'll be able to get the ample amount of light that they need. They still get some sun as well through the window, but I just wanna make sure that they're getting enough at the side of the room here where there's not a direct sunlight coming from the window. But that's one thing I'm really excited to add to this tank and add another element to the system. Now that I've gotten some time to think about things, I've decided to go with a different scape, not different entirely, but just change a bunch of things up. I had some of my friends on Instagram, tigerboy.h2o, Alex Scapes, and Inland underscore Reef all helping me out, but Tyler Inland Reef was extremely helpful throughout this entire process because he kind of walked me through and helped me out with all kinds of different styles and what I should try and do and what I should try and mirror in this tank. I'm really happy with how it's turned out so far. And now that I've got it to where I like it, Tyler recommended me breaking up some of the rubble into really, really small, fine pieces and sprinkling them throughout some of the areas to create more of a natural feel. And he said, you know, don't place it. You wanna let gravity kind of do the work and let things fall into place as they're supposed to. And I really like that and that kind of, really kind of resonates with me. And it's really cool because I think, you know, everything happens for a reason and that kind of fits into this aquascape as well. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on breaking up some of that rubble, get some really fine stuff, and then let's go ahead and add it in. One last time, I just wanna show you guys the finished product of what the scape turned out to be. I am really, really excited. All the help from Tyler, I mean, I was bugging him all day long and he was assisting me. And it's just the simple little things to add into a scape, like smashing up the rocks even smaller and making it a fine little pieces, shifting a rock one way so that the flow all works together. It just, all of it seems to fit really well for this tank and I'm really happy how it turned out. I will say, Tyler, you're a wizard and thank you so much for all the help, buddy. Um, I'm really looking forward to this tank and it's gonna be a really fun new build to add to the channel. The scaping is complete and the cycling process has begun on the UNS 5S. I'm really excited about this new tank and it's really fun to start a new build with you guys. I'm always excited to start a new tank, but being able to share it with you all has made this just so much more fun. I wanna shout someone out real quick, once again, Tyler, Inland underscore reef. If you aren't checking him out on Instagram, I don't know what you're doing. You need to check out his tanks. He has some amazing stuff and he actually has a tank in the works right now that is probably going to be one of the cooler tanks I've ever seen. I'm hoping to actually be able to see it soon in person. I want to say thank you to Tyler because he helped me out with all of my questions with the aquascape and he really kind of just broke it down for me in very simple terms. And there was one thing that really resonated with me that I wanted to share with you guys. With our tanks, we have these, you know, lavish, big rock structures, but sometimes we miss out on the fine details. And the fine details really what creates a natural feel for our tanks. 
And that's usually my goal for any tank that I set up. I want it to feel like something you'd actually see out in the wild, you know, out in the natural environment it would be in. So it's really fun to try it out and to do some new aquascaping kind of tips and tricks from Tyler. So thanks again, man, really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next week, reefers, happy reefing.